Hi friends, this is Jitendra Basma. Today we are going to see how to consume a REST web service with the mule shop. So for that we will directly start with demo. So let me show my URL. This is my URL. Okay. So we want to consume this URL. Let I was going to show you how you can do that. So I will simply create file new. Your project, I will say REST Web Service App. Okay, I will click on Finish. Okay, so let uh, it has created the application for us. The first thing, I will drag and drop HTTP listener. Okay, I will drag and drop HTTP requester. So basically, when you draw, drag and drop the HTTP listener in the message source region, it is HTTP listener. Whenever you drop the HTTP connector in the message processor region, it is known as a HTTP requester. Okay. So let me configure it. Uh, connector configuration. I will click on Add button. I will keep all setting as a default setting. For path, I will say REST. Okay. Allow method because you want to get flight details. So I will say get. Okay. Now I will going to consume a re Okay, REST web service. I will click on Add button. Okay, and I want the host name. This is my host. My protocol is HTTP. Let me provide the host. My port number is 80. Okay. So path. Now I have to give a path. This is my path. Flight C. CL is the destination. So I want the flight with the destination CLE. I will going to paste it here. So what method is allowed? I will say get. Okay. Now, what are we we will going to receive the message in this format. But we want to convert that message in this format. Okay. So what we can do? Uh, we can use a transform message. So let me use transform message at the end of HTTP requester. Okay, I will define the metadata. I will say so whatever output coming from the web service, uh, we will going to convert that into the format which we require. I will say JSON. I will say example. I will go to the folder where my files is located. Uh, it's here, here. So it's the United Flight Examples dot JSON. Okay. Now I will going to define output metadata. I will say air. I will say flight JSON. Create type. I will going to select JSON again. I will say example. I will select. I will go to same path again. I will go to add drive. Go to United Flight Examples dot JSON. I will say select. Now I will going to map a line with a line name. I think we have select something wrong. Let me clear the data metadata. Let me go there. I will go to flight dot JSON. I have to select uh, mule swap week one. You know, we want flight example to JSON. I will just select. Okay. Now, airline name could be mapped with airline, price with price, departure date with departure date, plane type. There is a plane type here. So I will try and drop plane type. Origin. Origin means like a source from airport, core, flight core. Empty seat with empty seat destination to airport. Okay. So basically, what we require, we require all the flight uh, with having destination CLE. But we have hard coded it. Okay. I will going to show you how you can make it more generic. Okay. Let my application get started.
directory we got the return back we can see to airport CLE right now what I will do I want some flight related to destination LX so we have to change it here LAX right so, and I will say save it in this case I have hard coded the value which is not good solution I will say send it will give me all flight related to LX. But if you don't want to hard code it the value, what we can do? So basically, I will use I will send one query. I will going to send one query parameter in the HTTP URL, and I will going to read store that query parameter in the flow variable. Okay. So I will set. I will say destination. Okay. I will read from the inbound property of the message. Message dot inbound. Properties dot HTTP query parameter dot destination. Let's wait. It was searching for something. Okay, so you can see now you can do one thing. So you have this leg. You know how how you can put the uh, destination here so what we can do in we can use add parameter query param no we are uri param what is name of uri param i can say destination okay and where is your uri parameter we have stored in our flow var dot destination okay so how you can use the destination here in the uri param you can say curly bracket destination this the name which you have okay given here you can just under curly bracket you can just give the destination okay this is how you can do now i am going to show you okay now there is a not, no value is hard coded i will change url bit i will say destination equals to CLE okay let me pass the CLE see now we are getting the value uh, that uh, flight related to CLE okay and now we are passing CLE from query parameter previously it was hard coded so that is how you can pass the uh, argument in the URI see LX we got so this is how you can consume your REST web services and pass the argument. Pass you can pass the argument to the REST web services. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching the video.